Yes, of course something is wrong. You guys are here, and then this entire thing just going behind my back, and... Wait, wait, going behind your back? I never did that. The only thing I did was telling Sarah to try and find the stones, and she had already been planning on doing that. So really... I wasn't. You still told her, and that that counts as that. Really? Yes. Chris, why don't you want to find the stones? Th that's not like you. Spark, you don't think I want to find them? Of course I do. I want them back. But just all the trouble they have caused. They have caused too much trouble. And if we find them again, it might go back to that. It might completely repeat itself. Okay, yes, it, it, um, there has been lots of bad things coming from them that are also good things. Like, you wouldn't have met me and Spark if you would have never found them. Yes, exactly. Just, there are many things that are good about them. You do realize that. Right? You guys, of course I realize that. But you guys realize that bad things have happened from them too. I disappeared. Me, Cindy, my mom, the... Everybody, except you guys, disappeared. And also, Aaron had been held, held captive by Lauren because of them. She had been under mind control for most of her life because of them. And, and, and you, Sapphire, you tried to take them for yourself, which caused a lot of drama and horrible things. Again, bad things have happened from them. Look, many times I had, I don't know, I guess, kind of regretted that they had been destroyed. But now that I have found out that they are not, they are still here, I guess... I don't know. Look, I want to find them. But I don't want all that bad stuff to happen again. I don't know. If you don't want to find the stones again, if you want them to stay where they are forever, then I won't try and get my memory back. But if you do, I will. It's your choice. The stones can either become a myth, or they can be brought back. I'm leaving the decision up to you. I... I, uh... Okay. We can find them. Go ahead. So, can we go looking for them? Well, I give it a lot of thought, and yes, are you serious? 
Yes. Yes. Why are we in the living room? Did you put them in the living room? No. Why are we here? I'm kind of confused too. Why are why are we in the living room? Yeah, um they they're not here, so why are we here? Well, like I said, I hid them where no one would ever think to look, because I didn't want anyone to find them. Sarah, where do you think someone would hide something that they didn't want found ever again? I... I don't know. Not in the living room, but... Uh, I don't know. Please, can we not play a game? I just want to find them. Well, you're going to be the one finding it, so... You might as well know where it is. I... Okay, um... Well, normally people bury things. When they don't want them to be found. Something that was never supposed to be found ever again. The air. The air? Well, well, yes. It's invisible. For then, no one would ever find it. Is that, is that correct? Yes, they're in the air. How many times have you read The Legend of the Fourteen Stones? Well, I don't know. Ten times? Through the entire book? I guess. Good. Now, where would you go if you disappeared? They're hidden in a reflection. Yes. How do you get to that? Uh, I don't know. There's about a million different ways to get into one. Alright, well, try the easiest way. Putting yourself into a reflection. That requires the stones. And we don't have them. They're not here. How am I supposed to do that? Well, that necklace you're wearing is part of the stones. It's actually the same as the 14th stone. It can do anything. Except, if you wear it, instead of using them, you can gain your powers. Okay, so I can use this necklace. All you have to do is think about the stones they should appear. Um, okay. 